And then I'll take a shot of your badge. Just to have your name tagged into your conversation. So Gritty, tell me what you're doing at the Wild Water Day. What brings you here? Curiosity. Curiosity, yeah. And uh, the main topic that I uh, was here for today was to uh, learn about water neutrality, neutrality mm -hmm. and uh, water footprint reduction. I heard there was a, a nice movie about that, but I missed it, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately yeah. But I spoke to a lot of people, uh, amongst uh, which uh, a few researchers and a few practitioner, practitioners. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason of my interest is that uh, I work for Aquafol, mm -hmm. and we are developing a, uh, a desk together with a few other parties, amongst which uh, Steam work, that help out um, organizations and companies mm -hmm. to, uh, to either reduce or compensate their water footprint. And I've, I've been studying this topic very, very recently and briefly, so I didn't know that much about it yet. But uh, I found out that there's another initiative uh, called the, uh, the, the Water Footprint Network. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was important for me to find out, okay, is it not the same that we're trying to do? Does it uh, complement each other? And the good thing is that there is room for complementation, so that's good. Yeah. So we can continue. Yeah. Um, and I also found out that it's still work in progress, but the, the, the areas where we can complement this already existing network is, and that is interesting, for the smaller companies, the, the MKB, the, how do you say that in English? MKB, the small companies. Smaller, mid-sized companies. Mid-sized companies, yeah. SMEs. Oh, you, yes, SMEs, yeah. SMEs, SMEs, yeah, SMEs, yeah, yeah. right. How so that's, that's when I thought, Whew, okay. Yeah. There is room for room for complementation, and maybe the 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 the, the existing network is a, is a very renowned uh, research institute. There's a very renowned research institute behind it. It's mm -hmm. it's uh, Arjen Hoekstra who is leading uh, the gang, the pack, mm -hmm. and he is helping out, which is very very uh, interesting. Of course, he's helping out mm -hmm. bigger companies to to. To find out their mm -hmm. complete water footprint in the chain from A to Z, mm -hmm. which is uh, and how are they doing that? Yeah, I don't know. This this is this is something that I don't know yet. But I I know that mm -hmm. he is helping out. Uh, he has helped out uh, CNA, CNA, a yeah. big Dutch uh, clothing company, to really identify um, their entire chain from mm -hmm. cotton production to dye, dyeing the the, the cloth to selling the cloth in Rotterdam here. So they, they, they identified the entire chain, measured the footprint, which is a technical thing, I don't know anything about, but um, mm. he's a renowned research yeah. guy, so I, I assume that he did it right. But the, the more interesting thing is that for CNA, something like this is possible to really identify the entire chain from A to Z, but maybe for a smaller, cleaning company that is a bit too ambitious and maybe they do want to reduce or compensate part of their water footprint but they're not able to do to take up the entire chain in one go is that uh, how aqua for all is is cooperating with this small uh, well that is that is the niche that i i think and i do need to research it a little more but i think that we can uh, provide for the somewhat smaller companies, maybe for the smaller municipalities, for the, uh, the the consumer groups, to enable them to take part in water footprint reduction and or compensation too, but uh, on a scale and on a level that is possible for them. Thank you, Kirche. That yeah. is that is very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So. Thank, yeah. Thanks. Great work that you're doing as Aqua for All. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs>